Hello dear students, welcome back to another session of our interactions. Now in this we will basically be discussing about the term you might have heard so many times in the channel and the group we are having that is integrated learning. Okay, So what is this all about? Because the point is all subjects if you study what in different way or you might miss the problem is not be able to integrate join all the information to get the clear picture of the disease patient is having and how to diagnose and manage it the best okay so without integration in the end what you end up being is something like this okay you might have heard the story of five blind men and the elephant so they can all feel some part of the elephant and they have their own interpretation so you can see in this diagram also there are doctors who are touching different parts like oh it's a spear it's a snake touching the trunk okay or it's like a tree so that's why none of them have the complete picture that it is a elephant what they all think is rope wall fan spear so that is what the idea is we want to integrate all they are not wrong they are not wrong but they are having partial understanding okay so what we need to do is i'll just give an example of integration using one of the most important topic that is sodium potassium balance okay sodium and potassium balance by kidney because that will cover most of the drugs also disease also by kidney primarily so we know that in the kidney there is a cell in the collecting duct called as the p cell that is principal cell so we know principal cell what it does is it brings the sodium so it causes what sodium reabsorption into blood so that means it increase the blood sodium and in exchange it kick out which and potassium so cause potassium secretion into the blood uh, to the urine okay into urine so that's why in simple language what is it doing it will increase the sodium and decrease the potassium we are in the blood so one line summary that p cells collecting duct primarily are increasing the sodium and they are kicking what out they are kicking this out okay and what are the transport rate use so i don't so basically reabsorb by enax that is epithelial sodium channel so enax or enacs so they are the channels they are using for transportation okay now if you know this that is physiology now you can add things and you will make it more and more useful so let's say example we are going to discuss about something who stimulate the p cell so p cells are stimulated by aldosterone so technically what is aldosterone doing it will increase the sodium blood sodium and decrease the potassium in blood so that means it is causing what high sodium and low potassium that is aldosterone okay fine so if a person is having aldosterone excess or deficit what we'll see you'll see a very important so that is why what happens okay so two conditions are possible either there is increase aldosterone or there is decrease aldosterone are you clear now if there is increase aldosterone if there is increase it will cause too much sodium so it cause what increase in sodium okay in the serum and that will increase BP because of, you know high sodium high BP because of too much salt there is too much water and that cause increase volume and pressure that's why what you ask take less salt take less salt what is okay and decrease potassium level in the serum okay in blood okay so that means there is too much sodium what is sodium symbol N so that is why it is called as what Cone syndrome it is called as what Cone's syndrome it is called as what Cone's so how to remember see none so it is what it is causing it is causing lots of na 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 so remember na na plus na plus so how to remember cones it is causing too much it is causing too much na 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 remember that song also na 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 so na 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 cone na 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 so cone na 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 so remember is okay so cones is too much and if decrease obviously there will be decrease sodium decrease bp decrease uh, increase potassium hyperkalemia and that is what it is decreased now remember when you ask what sons to increase the property they rather split the property okay like Ambani they split the uh, reliance empire the same way name is Addison so how to remember 
you ask the son please add the property increase they rather split so addition decrease aldosterone so addition is decrease so addition's disease will be having decrease in this that is the pathology or medicine part okay now let's see some pharma part the pharma part is let's say we have a drug which block the inax if you block the inac it is called as amyloride and aldosterone will be blocked by spironolactone are you clear so it will be blocked by spironolactone so now what do these to do they will cause less sodium reabsorption because they are blocking the function of p cell and aldosterone so that's why both amyloride and this cause what sodium loss that means sodium will go and sodium go alone no it drinks water also so that is why anything blocking sodium absorption cause sodium loss and sodium loss is always a complete with yes water loss so that is why it cause sodium so less sodium reabsorb that cause sodium and water loss and that is why they are called as di diuretics so they are what they are di diuretics in this case i hope is clear so they are the di diuretics in this case okay so it is also a diuretic okay but one thing is what will they cause potassium secretion no and they will decrease the potassium secretion that is they will cause less potassium so that means and less potassium secretion in urine that means potassium is not lost so potassium loss is prevented so that's why they are called as potassium sparing so potassium sparing this is also potassium sparing so what is the summary they will cause what they will cause less sodium less water but rather they will not cause loss of potassium so potassium will increase sodium will decrease so that is what they do are you clear so in fact what is this so see this diagram this is physio this is physio okay this would be your what subject this is let's say patho and medicine that is addisons and cones and this red one is the pharma so physio patho pharma all club in a single chart and diagram are you clear and finally finally how will you treat obviously the cones so treatment so treatment would be what block it so treatment is what is spironolactone and here treatment gives steroids that is will give the steroid like glucocorticoids or the aldosterone so treatment is steroids so easy so now we learn the treatment also so give steroid to correct the problem here you block the steroid with steroid the aldosterone is a steroid so you block it easy fine now so what is the summary one summary p cell increase sodium decrease potassium aldosterone stimulate them aldosterone stimulate and who block them amyloride and spironolactone block the p cell via inac or aldosterone and that's why they cause sodium loss but not potassium loss but not potassium loss so sodium loss that's why they call as potassium sparing diuretics okay now to summarize one more thing diuretics cause loss of what sodium so remember okay uh sodium uh, and potassium both lost okay that is by loop diuretics and thiazides and thiazide diuretics okay whereas only sodium but potassium spare sodium lost but potassium spared they are which one they are our amyloride and spironolactone clear so how to remember see loop and thiazide they are looting the sodium potassium they loot potassium and sodium remember loot so who loot sodium potassium yes the answer is loop and thiazides are you clear and what is sparing them what is sparing spear spiro spear remember spiro smear and when you are in trouble trouble problem or your father is anger angry who will save you from the father's anger 
मदर एंड वट यू कॉल अम्मा स्पेयर मी अम्मा बचा लो माँ बचा लो अम्मा माँ माँ अम्मी सो रिम्बर अम्मी स्पेयर मी अम्मी बचा लो अम्मी स्पेयर सो रिम्बर अम्मी स्पेयर इज द कोड और निमोनिक फॉर दिस अम्मी स्पेयर एंड लूट इज द यस मिनी निमोनिक फॉर दिस सो वट इज लूटिंग सो दे आर लूटिंग एंड स्पेयर अम्मी स्पेयर इज स्पेयर द पोटेशियम सो दे स्पेयर और सेव पोटेशियम सो दैट्स वाई इफ अ पेशेंट इज हैविंग हाई पोटेंशियम एंड यू वॉन्ट टू Yes, cause loss of this water sodium. You give thiazides and other. But if he is having low potassium, you will give potassium sparing. And if potassium levels are normal, then we can use the thiazide and loop. So that is why what they are preferred in. So they are preferred if so given if low serum potassium. So that is what integration is. Physio, patho, pharma, medicine. All club and you will see a picture, one line picture that aldosterone is causing this blockade cause this. That is what will club and combine into a single topic. I hope it's clear. And that is what we are going to do in the upcoming session of rapid review and revision. R R R. So very quick, brief review of the topics which will cover almost all possible question and integrate. So you don't have to study subjects. You study the topic like sodium balance. acid base balance ecg murmurs valvular disorders or in pediatrics let's say any like dehydration or jaundice so all physio patho pharma biochem all club into one so that would be the idea of our rapid review and revision so further details would be available soon and you have now learned what is the approach towards this so please 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 mark this date 1st august and we are not going to teach anything new we are just going to review and integrate what is already known to you or you must have read somewhere okay first august 7 pm link etc please join the group which is given at the end and you will be able to yes get mass uh, you can say information from here okay thank you very much